right this way. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Sutton Galleries. Anthony asked me to say a little bit about the artwork and our artists that we carry. We're a family owned business for the fourth generation. Been in business since 1915. 1950, that's a long time. Right here, you're looking at Isabel Dupree. She's been my top selling artist for the last 16 years. The style that she's painting in is called Impasta. What I mean by that, right here, the red maple, we have five different colors. We have three reds, an orange, and a yellow. Not one brush has been on this painting. It's all palette length work. And you notice she brings the paint all the way around the sides, gives a nice gallery wrap. People love it. Color, 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 color. Isabel's French, went to the same school that Monet founded in France. That's why she does a lot of the Monet style water lilies. These are always the colors she's worked in. Now we have the new ones, uh, a little bit warmer tones. You know, it gives a little bit more close up version of it. And here's, here's another um, artist that's very popular in the gallery. His name is Jay Maggio. And the style that Jay paints in is called pointillism. Pointillism is you use a couple of hairs in the brush and you just go on about 10 million times. <laughs> this painting in particular, you have pointillism here in the tree. The surrounding area is what they call the graphy. Geographic can be swirls, can be little lines. You see it here with the lavender field, the lines, or the circles. People love Jay's work because of color contrast. Color uh -huh. comes out. So yeah. Andrew, this is one of, another one of my artists. His name is Keith Ogenslager. Keith is the detail that he brings out he really pulls in New Orleans with his paintings. In this one in particular, it's all about the lighting. So what I mean by that, when you take down the lights, no matter if you have control lighting or natural lighting, you can see the painting actually change. It's like the lights stay on as you're taking down the overhead lights. That's pretty. Typical rainy New Orleans night. This wall we have the artist Steve Barber. Steve's an incredible artist. He's been around for 30 years. And Steve's very talented. I mean by that. This is a uh, piece he created. It's called a gallery wrap. You can see how the stretcher bars are wavy. If you decide to frame it, you can put it in one of his custom size frames that he also builds. Hey guys, we're here with Tommy Vitrano and the Sutton Gallery. Uh, we have taken the tour of the art and now we're here to talk a little bit about what it looks like to work in the gallery. So talk a little bit about how you got into it and then what that looks like. So the work in the gallery is super fun. Yeah. That was exciting, especially in New Orleans. Something's always going on. You see a lot, you hear a lot. It's fun. So getting into business, I was in finance before doing the gallery. And 21 years ago, I had the opportunity to get the gallery business. Here I am. Didn't know much about it. I had to kind of learn as I went along. Yeah. But you learn every day. Mm -hmm. You years open, you learn. And that's how we got into it. The thing, the business here, Sutton Galleries on Royal Street, 519 Royal Street, has been a business since 1915 with fourth generation family. It's pretty strong yeah. for business. Yeah, especially in downtown New Orleans. Yes. Yeah. And um, you know, you meet people from all over the world. 
a couple of days ago. Yeah. Nice. And um, it's going to be fun. Like they say in New Orleans, Le Bon Tom Brule. Yeah. The good time drove. I like that. Le Bon Tom Brule. Thank you, though. Uh, what are some of the skills that you had to acquire when you initially started at the Gallery? The, the biggest thing is knowing how to talk to people mm -hmm. um, and be able to express what they want to do in the artwork mm -hmm. and the different styles and techniques. And because um, you, know, uh, you have a hundred and ninety gallons in this area, so they don't buy from me, they don't buy from someplace else. Yeah. And so, you know, you just kind of go around to your buyers and work with them. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, do you talk to the artists about their pieces so you understand a little bit more? I of do. The I okay. do. Yeah. And um, I do a lot of research and I try to find new artists. And I, I try to pick artists that I like and I think other people would like. Mm -hmm. And um, so, right now we have 22. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. How often do you switch artists that come to the gallery? We don't normally we stick with the ones that we have, okay. um, but if there's a new artist, you know, and I like it, mm -hmm. I'll give them a try. Okay. Yeah. Is that something that just makes it easier? People know what they're going to get into when they come to the gallery. They're always going to have a specific artist that they right. like that they can come back. Because yeah. we have a lot of repeat business. Okay. And artists are always involved, mm -hmm. and so they may be doing something one year, then change their style the next year. Then I kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, is that something that they do because they like learn new techniques or new different techniques, phases of life? Or I just suppose? maybe they got bored doing what they were doing before, you know, with artists. Yeah, that would come out of their own, which I love. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Yeah. How long have you been at this gallery? 21 years. 21 years, wow. So you've seen a lot of the transitions that artists have gone through. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What's the one that you were like most impressed by? Um, the artist I've tried years ago. She walked in here with two paintings, two 20 by 20 inch by 20 inch paintings of poppies. And I absolutely fell in love with them. Wow. And from that point on, she just exploded. Huh. Now she's like an eight different gallery. Wow. All over the United States. And just to watch her grow. Yeah. Art, art, you know, it's, it's, it's an expression of your personality. It's what you feel, what you like. Yeah. So I tell people, you know, it may be a little bit more than you want to spend, but it's a piece you ought to appreciate. Yes. Um, it's memory. Yes. You may tell the artist yes. about hard work with your husband or your boyfriend or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're yeah, always going to remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, so talk a little bit about uh, the pros of working in the art gallery. For me? Favorite things, yes. Meeting people. Meeting people. Me meeting people from all over the world. Yeah. You never know who's going to walk in. Yeah. It's something. Who's the most interesting person you've had walk through those doors? Sylvester Stallone. No. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, How was his handshake? Fish ball. We just fish ball. Fish ball. Yeah. Okay. During COVID times. Yeah. Oh, I'm not really. Oh, yeah. It was before COVID, but it was behind Joey Casey. Oh, okay. Got it. So mm -hmm. That's great. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's just meeting people. You know, that's what I enjoy. And of course, watching the artists grow, mm. all the different styles they come up with. Yeah. What have you learned about art since huh. being here? Maybe well, favorite. considering I didn't know a whole lot about it when I got in, and I learned everything. You know, I tell people, I don't care how much you pay for something, whether it's $100 mm. or $10,000, you have to hang on your wall you have to like Yeah. So it's not how much you pay for a piece, it's what you want to do. And my favorite thing is helping people, the younger couples, get started. Mm -hmm. You know, and they pick out their first piece. That excites me. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Tell somebody. <laughs>